Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So earlier today, we finally had the Golden Cross happening and Bitcoin broke a key resistance level of $48,000. With the growth that we've experienced in the market, I am now expecting another altcoin season to start ripping in the market very soon. But what exactly should you be doing as an investor and what should you be looking out for in a climate like this? In this video, we're gonna be focusing on aspects in order to help you make more money in the crypto market today. I know that cardano hype train has also not yet slowed down even though it's been relatively flat in terms of price action so we'll also be talking about why it really hasn't been moving all too much and why you should be excited for what's coming soon like always if you do appreciate the content on this channel and you are hoping for crypto to go to the moon go ahead and drop a like down below on this video and i'm sure that somehow it does help the cause as well now with all that being said let's hop into the computer and see what's popping for today all right so the global crypto market cap is up a pretty significant significant bit in the last 24 hours. It's at $2.18 trillion or a 3.43% increase over the last day. Now, although it seemed like Bitcoin was receiving a majority of the price action today, it looks like the Bitcoin dominance isn't really reflecting that. So anytime we get more money going into altcoins, this is when we see this indicator going down. And it seems like although Bitcoin did have a little bit of a confident push today, ever since the golden cross happening about eight to nine hours back, right now, the whole market has has gotten just a little step off from previously to what it was just a few days back. Now on this list, Ethereum is now at $3,500. I would not be surprised if we approach $4,000 fairly quickly. And most importantly, it looks like Cardano has been holding those support levels of $2.40, still up about 4% today, but not necessarily getting that crazy boom that we experienced before the smart contract Alonzo upgrade. So before we get into some of the research points and articles that I wanted to cover in this video, let's focus focus a little bit more on Cardano and where we're at currently with this crypto today. So if you're wondering how Cardano's new Alonzo upgrade has been doing, according to this article, it's actually been showing some remarkable results. The team says that Alonzo already processed more than 100 smart contracts on the platform within its first 24 hours. Some of the key notes to take away from this article here is some of the quotes that Charles Hoskinson provided this issuer. And he states, this upgrade is the culmination of six years of incredibly hard work with some of the brightest minds in blockchain and beyond. The focus is now improving the platform further and ensuring that Cardano is adopted by corporations and governments. With this launch, commercialization is as much much in the hands of the community as it is in the system architects and they are already delivering in less than 24 hours over a hundred smart contracts have already been run on the network he also opened up about his dedication to the project describing the design of the blockchain as the most difficult and meaningful work of my career this time next year there will be useful and in some cases life-changing decentralized applications running on the system which will transform the lives of millions to billions of people throughout the next decade another reason reason why Cardano has not been exploding in price, even though we've been getting a lot of these bullish articles, is just the fact that the overall demand for anything Ethereum related has not been that hot. So even in the last month, you'll notice that we've experienced a proper cool down in the Ethereum average gas price. If we look at the statistics for weekly active NFT wallets, you'll notice that the amount has gone down a significant amount as well within the last few months. Now take a look, if we zoom back in, even in this week for September, it has gone down a critical amount compared to the last few weeks of August. With that being said, this visual right here is one of my favorites. So this is actually comparing some of the more innovative platforms that you guys may have experienced growing up. If any of my OGs remember a Blockbuster, I used to have one in front of my neighborhood growing up as a kid. It is still one of my most fond childhood memories going to Blockbuster with my dad, picking up like they had the buy two for whatever, 16 to $18 price PS2 games. I just remember how much of a hit that was during that time in our lives. But as we continue to innovate and develop, soon we had other different products like Redbox. If you guys remember, they're still around, still not as hot, but then Netflix ended up really overtaking the industry with Blockbuster pretty much going extinct. Now, this visual right here is just going to be a comparison with Bitcoin comparing it to Blockbuster, Ethereum comparing it to Redbox, and Cardano comparing it to Netflix. Now, in some ways and shape or form, in terms of innovation, I could definitely see this analogy being effective. In terms of functionality and the purpose behind the development of these cryptocurrencies, this may not be the most accurate, but let me know if you guys are vibing with it at all. Now, on top of that, Cardano recently had the ADA Lend program recently released. ADA Lend.Finance, a protocol that is 
bringing decentralized lending to the Cardano blockchain has just sold out to private sale in less than one hour. Seven private angel investors have purchased the entire seed allocation of 1.8 million Cardano native ADAL tokens for $540,000. They state Cardano is the market leader in proof of stake as a collection of protocols for economic support to billions of people. Over the last decade, the DeFi space has been forced to evolve to keep pace with the development of the digital asset market. The Adolan protocol will power the new wave of flexible financial markets by providing a layer for instant loan approval, automated collateral, trustless custody, and liquidity. Scrolling down on their homepage, you can actually take a look at their milestones where even in 2021, at quarter three of quarter four, they are starting their preparations and moving over into the testnet completion. And then they're going to be in research and beta and hopefully underway by 2022, quarter three and quarter four for their launch. Now, when it comes to Cardano, this is still very good news only because we're getting additional support and variety added to their ecosystem map. So with all that being said, why has Cardano still been relatively flat and how come we haven't hit any newer all-time highs? I know for newer investors who got into the space, you could be rather impatient with some of the gains that you've made, but even for Cardano, it took a very long time in order for the progressions of this past explosion to occur. I believe the reason why Cardano still isn't at $5 just yet is only because the price of the entire crypto market has been relatively flat since Bitcoin took that tumble. If Bitcoin was past $60,000 right now or nearing its previous all-time highs, I see no reason as to why Cardano wouldn't have been amplified in that making, especially with the smart contract Alonzo upgrade that happened recently. Now, I do know that a $10 Cardano seems like it's almost impossible for this year, but it's just a reminder that we're still very early into the space and it's been less than a week since we've had the proper Alonzo of smart contract upgrade, all while the NFT and the overall space has been going down in demand. With that being said, what I believe is going to be single-handedly the most powerful moving factor in the crypto space is going to be if we get an ETF launched for the space. So about 15 hours ago, Fidelity lobbies SEC to approve Bitcoin ETF in a private meeting. Fidelity argues that Bitcoin markets have already reached maturity under the SEC's own standards. Fidelity filed for a Bitcoin ETP called the Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust in March 2021, and more than 20 similar applications from other firms have been made since, yet the regular continues to procrastinate. Over on Twitter, we have a variety of different ETFs that are likely to be approved on these pending dates. And you'll notice that this is all focused in about a month from now. Since the beginning of this bull run, we've been emphasizing the importance on this channel of how explosive quarter four is estimated to be. The reason why we have that is in addition to the ETFs getting approved, normally the cycles of how things warm up in September being a flatter month for cryptocurrency and all that additional money that many investors have been putting on the side to put in a new investment once we reach some more greedy levels of euphoria in the market. In this, you'll notice ProShares, Invesco, Vanek, Valkyrie, Galaxy, with dates all likely to be approved in October to November. Right now, currently, with the conversations that the SEC has and clearly the stance it seems like they have against cryptocurrency, I would not be surprised if this gets pushed back even later, but this is definitely some target dates to keep in mind especially if you're trying to make more money in the market. Now, going back into other cryptocurrencies, you'll notice that Solana actually had quite a bit of a dip. That was 15.57% in the last seven days. They did hit about $130 to $140 when this piece of news came out relating to Solana's network that actually crashed because they had way too many transactions and then they had to restart the network. Now, I do believe Solana is still gonna have a place in the crypto universe. Just because we get articles like this doesn't mean that it is doom and gloom. And most often than not, people do just forget about these pretty quickly. So I believe anytime we experience those dips and people want to cash out their positions and start doubting these type of networks, that's an opportunity for you to pick up those bags to get in at a lower cost if you do think that Solana is going to continue increasing in price over the next few months. Now, I did cover a lot more of these cryptocurrencies in depth in our exclusive Patreon live stream that I hope posted this morning. I did open up some additional spots. If you guys want to have an opportunity to join my inner circle, check
check out the link down below in the description as well. Now, with all that being said, I did need to mention this too, because this is a pretty significant piece of news and an OpenSea executive used the platform's influence to pump his own NFTs. So the Twitter thread that started all this was this. Zoo says, hey, at OpenSea, why does it appear that Nate Chastain, which is the head of product of OpenSea, and he shows his CryptoPunk right here, has a few secret wallets that appears to buy your front page drops before they are listed, then sells them shortly after the front page hype spike for profits, and then tumbles them back to his main wallet with his punk on it. With the beauty of on-chain data from the way the blockchain operates in the crypto world, you can actually see how much the OpenSea product lead earned through insider trading, and this was data collected by Block Beats China. OpenSea came out with their own statement and stated, this is incredibly disappointing. We want to be clear that this behavior does not represent our values as a team. We are taking this very seriously and are conducting an immediate and thorough review of this incident so that we have a full understanding of the facts and additional steps we need to take. Now, although this is not a good look for OpenSea, technically this guy isn't breaking any type of laws, but it's definitely very shady and it is not a good looking uh, representation for this company at all. Now, just wrapping up this video, the crypto fear and greed index today is actually showing a little bit of a neutral stance compared to yesterday where we were seeing more fear in the market. All right, so the secret phrase word for this video, if you're watching it all the way till the end is going to be Fiji. Make sure you comment that down below so I know you are a real one. In addition to that, don't forget to check out the links down below in the description. You can find yourself earning an additional two free stocks if you check out Webull, where you can trade both stocks and crypto using their platform. You can also find yourself earning additional interest if you check out BlockFi using my link, where you'll also get a bonus as well. And in addition to that, if you're looking for a VPN for whatever reason, trying to just expand your Netflix catalog or per protect your internet connection, which I think is very important. Check out the link down below in the description so you can get 83% off and three months free using that down below as well. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Credit Brian. Follow me over on Twitter at Brian Jungy. Links for that will all be down below in the description. Like always, thank you all so much again for watching. And until next time, have a great day and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.